So with the latest hotfix, the latest patch, which introduced Farming Frenzy, where we've got increased anointed items and legendaries, which is absolutely ridiculous. People have been playing Mayhem for Slaughter Shaft and noticed so many legendaries drop. It's unbelievable. But with this actual patch, this hotfix, we've received a few other changes to the game too, which we'll cover right here, right now. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and today I'll bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen, I can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in for a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay, so with this hotfix, with this patch, we've got a few other changes which we'll go through right now. Take down at the Madam and Black Sight and Farming Frenzy. This week starts the Take Down at the Madam and Black Sight event. What this basically means is just scaled it down, people, so it's easier to do. That's basically it. But in addition, during the Farming Frenzy mini event, running for the same duration, we're making a few other changes. Rare spawn enemies will also show up more often, and we're temporarily boosting the anointed and legendary drop rates. For the next two weeks, every boss in the game has boosted drop rates, including the takedown at the Mellow and Black Sight bosses. May these two weeks be challenging, rewarding and full of loot. The Depth Collector is excluded from this list as it's tied to an achievement. Ok, so we're going to move on to additional bug fixes. Ok, so addressed a reported concern with item card and hotfix sometimes not showing information correctly. Addressed a reported concern that Judge Hightower was sometimes not dropping items from his dedicated loot pool or item pool. Adjusted the balance of Fabricator, Freddy, Stanley, Constructor, Tony Bordell, Trixie Nick and Ferdrail to provide greater challenge. Developer note, we noticed that the bosses in the handsome jackpot weren't providing players with a satisfying challenge. We'll be monitoring these bosses and make adjustments as needed in the future. The Iron Cannon has now a 5 second reload time people and consumes at least 6 ammo per shot. I mean the thing is absolutely ridiculously OP. I knew that was coming like I know many of you did too. The Iron Cannon is a strong weapon and we don't want to change that. But it's a little overperforming. Is that what OP stands for? Overperforming? I'm not too sure. We've increased the reload time and made it consume more ammo but left its damage unchanged to still provide a strong burst of damage. Added collisions to prevent the gunner from sometimes becoming stuck in Meridian Mercantile. Added collisions to prevent players from sometimes escaping the map in various locations. Increased the radius of the new use station at the arrogant approach. Address the reported perceived progression blocker when using Glamour on the Abomination during its alive. Okay, so increased anointment effectiveness for the operative gunner and beast master. Unlock him, huh? In looking at the bonuses from anointments, we found that some were not providing enough of a bonus. We've increased the bonuses of the anointments below. Mole the gunner, while also very active, deals 75% from 20 bonus incendiary damage. After exiting the Iron Bear, the next two magazines will have 125 from 40 bonus incendiary damage. Wow. After exiting Iron Bear, gain 160% from 120 increased splash damage for 18 seconds. When entering and exiting Iron Bear, Nova damage is increased. Zane the operative. While barrier is active, accuracy is increased by 60% and critical hit damage is increased by 70% from 30. Like wow. That's crazy. While Sentinel is active, gain 100% from 50% of damage as bonus cryo damage. Wow, that's, that's, that's ridiculous, people. That is absolutely ridiculous. I planned on doing an update video on my Zane uh, Winter Soldier build anyway. So talking about that will be a part of that, people. Flak the Beastmaster. When exiting fade away, Nova damage increased. When using Rack Attack, gain 50% from 25% critical hit damage for a short time. And that's it people, they're the changes that come along with this actual Farming Frenzy event. And there's some great great changes there in my opinion, not too sure about the Iron Cannon, I mean did it need nerfing? It probably did to be honest, let's, let's, let's not lie to ourselves. Super happy with the buff to Zane though, will make my builds even stronger. Now I've got a couple more builds coming guys, so stay tuned for them. Now enjoy the Farming Frenzy event, I mean like I said I've been playing Mayhem 4 for literally, I literally just did the first wave. And you can see the amount of legendaries I've had drop, it's just absolutely crazy people, it really is.
But yeah, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. Just a short but sweet one, keeping you guys updated on the latest changes to Borderlands 3. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, upload the content notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.